Well, listen, uh, playing Madden 20 on the OLED, it's like, how should I put this? Let me try to explain to you this way. The only true way for you to truly understand the difference between the LCD, LED technology and or, you know, organic light emitting diode technology is you really have to have both TVs to do that. And I have both TVs to do that. And I can see every day, I can see the difference between the two. And the difference is like night and day, guys. Yes, that peak brightness that they have definitely helps. But I got to tell you, playing this on the OLED, uh, you just appreciate it even more. Now, if you have a 65-inch, this is a 55-inch. If you have a 65-inch OLED, or maybe you have, I don't know, maybe you have a wallpaper OLED that's 70-inch. But 65 inch should get the job. If you have a 65 inch, you're truly going to appreciate this 100%. And everything, as I said earlier on my previous videos regarding the end game and all the other uh, movies and whatnot that I have tested, it's everything feels three dimensional, like three dimensional. Uh, a lot of people ask me, like, do you notice any kind of, like, brightness on the black digital levels? As I'm like, listen, it's impossible for you to notice any sort of uh, brightness on the black digital levels. That's because you're getting the best possible pitch black dark levels on the OLED on this TV so therefore the black digital levels are gonna look as if you are turning the TV off it's almost like you turn your TV off that's how the dark they get and then every in each color will be represented with every in each pixel meaning you are getting the best possible black digital levels and you're getting the best possible color detail because they're all being uh, lit up on every in each pixel by itself, individually, every in each pixel. Now, I am using a motion flow here. I'm using a smooth motion flow, and I got to tell you, the motion flow on the game mode here, looks fantastic and this is the HDR in case you guys are wondering this is the HDR version and uh, everything it's running smoothly now the free sync definitely helps on a Samsung Q8FN but the motion flow here gets the job done too as well and uh, it looks fantastic man it really does I think the video is going to speak for itself. You know, I can talk about this for hours, but I think this video will speak for itself for you guys to understand exactly with what I'm talking about here. Oh, great, I missed it. That's all right. <laughs> um, look, bottom line is this, and I know you guys, those who are skeptical, you're always going to be skeptical no matter what. Uh, if you want to have the best possible picture quality, the OLED will do that for you. If you care about the picture quality, the OLED will do that for you. Okay? And uh, I can tell you this because I have both TVs. If I didn't have LED, LCD, and OLED, then I probably wouldn't be able to tell you. But because I do have both of these TVs, I can tell you the difference. It's night and day in terms of picture quality. And you're going to see that here with Madden as well. So if you love Madden and you have OLED, well, you are in luck. Thank you for watching.